Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. I've discovered something since last episode. It was actually here last episode. Whoa, we're pulsing. <laughs> I think we're in wildfire season. The smoke every once in a while wafts through. <laughs> anyway, apparently I never clicked on any of these last episode to know that we're no longer stacking in 50s. And we're no longer stacking in 100s. So, we've got so much storage capacity now in these guys that I basically just went over here and deleted everything down here. There was no reason to have a second storage for anything. It, uh, it, we, we can get everything into one storage bin now. Everything that you would reasonably have. So... What do we do with this structure? I spent a lot of work making it. This was the storage barn. Um, we kicked around the idea of maybe having animals out on this front veranda out here. Maybe that is their sleeping spot and hay storage and things like that. That could, that could work. Throw a, a wall system in here with a door. And hay storage on this side. I don't know. Let's go take a look over here. I, I went back to a um, couple of islands and gathered all of these things that I could to make even more hay. And I see the poopers have been uh, have been busy and made all kinds of of hay and stacked it up and filled the barn. Look at that. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> Even if you aren't, I am. <laughs> well, let's clean all this up. And what I can tell, leaves make one soil and, and manure makes three soil. So there is an advantage to collecting the manure. You get three times the soil. But anyway, this apparently is a sheep with a curly horn so but he's he's not happy right now we're gonna go deal with that by coating that tool or that, that we already coated the weapon to see what it does when we go out to the other island but i got to playing in here this guy was right out here kind of in your face so i knocked out all the walls and the roofs and pushed him back into the wall like a fireplace tends to be you tend to have half your fireplace on the outside of the house and the flue goes up on the outside usually but in this case it goes up right in between so all these little tiny square uh, floor pieces I was able to patch in and around that and same thing over here backed it up into there and lots of little tiny roof pieces and able to fill it all in and and it uh, it looks normal now let's get up and over here Miss the blades drop Woo! and that's what it looks like up above you can just fill it all in and a lot of flexibility in this system really enjoy it but food wise I moved the uh, first floor moved the granary over onto a little stand and just to kind of separate it out and got to playing with different things you might be able to make a table like thing out of something like this you know, just some round floor pieces um, I think there are smaller versions of that and then I went up three high two high in order to get this guy up high enough to actually run that rope through the window so that's probably in his final position could put a lot of baskets in here but you almost don't need baskets anymore I mean when you come over here and look at some of this Things, well, that's not a good example. Where's one? Things stack in such big stacks now. I guess I don't have a lot of quantity in those baskets. But, you know, a couple of baskets will pretty much uh, do the job. Almost a little overpowered. It seems like you should be able, you should be able to, or should have to, deal with large quantities in, large, in, in a greater number of storage spaces. But, you know, penalize you for... for for stocking up too much that kind of thing we didn't build the chair last time I don't even know where that is there you are the chair is actually a chair or uh, three a chaise or a stool 
kind of cool. So, I wonder if you can actually sit on them. Ooh. Well, look at that. Now, if I were to go to third person, where is that? Is it up here? Oh, right there. I was trying to find third over there. Third person. Uh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Sit. There we go. Dude. Okay. Oh, and as soon as you walk, you come right out of it. Okay. So, options and gameplay and first person. Okay, so we've got stools now. Pull you out. Um, bedroom seems like an obvious place to to start setting up something like this. Uh, the chaise? I wonder if you can sleep on it in place of the bed. Don't know. Um, I suppose you could go over here. It's got all foggy again on me. Yeah, the fog needs to not be inside of the building. That's that's a problem. We need to fix that one. Outside, yeah, the the effect is great, but inside it just feels odd. Okay, you in here. Although I guess we don't really have glass going on in the windows in here right now, so I'd say it could be drifting in. Well, you know, we maybe one of these days we'll get around to putting the real windows in. Um, what does that even mean? That is over here. So you... Yeah, I've got nothing to snap it into. There's not a smaller version, is there? Well, I almost thought there was, but it's just way down there at the pond now. Yeah, so we're gonna have to... Hmm. That is essentially floor to ceiling. You know, the, the walls are really just that high. It's almost like that needs to be half scaled so that it can be the upper half. Or you make your buildings one and a half walls high so that the window can sit there and still have some wall underneath it. Okay, so putting this second, this, this half wall along the whole bottom instead and a full one up top, then you can put real windows in. Interesting. Of course, we need to also think about which walls we're going to bust down and bow out. Wow, that thing's big. So, maybe the front of the house here at some point. Hmm. Let me know where to get a good view of that. Maybe somewhere in there it can bow out or bubble out on the sides or something. It doesn't fit this type of house. I wonder if we can use it around the corners. Oh, that's interesting. Round off those the front corner up there. I don't know. Um, went through and played with the path. Got that set up so I can run through it without sloshing through the water. Took a while to figure out what to do there. I'm not a great designer in that sense so there's probably a way that this could have been done that would look a whole lot better but that is what it is right now let's pop into here and see these guys and yeah they have plopped out the eggs for me right there I guess plopped probably isn't the right word <laughs> um what else do we have in here getting dark Maybe I need a, a headlamp. Maybe that would be handy. Um, I went through and replanted everything. I went through and harvested everything, then replanted everything, and then went off and went and found all the the wood and stuff that I could cut down for for um, hay on a couple of the different islands around here that we've been to already. And in the process of that, it rained a couple of times. I think the step that I missed the first time was rain. Now these guys still don't have... Okay, let's try something. Let's put the bucket... Although it's now it's dark. Um, let me come right back so we can see this in the light. 
There, that's better. So, still no blossoms on top. And, let's see, grab the bucket eight. I'm pretty sure I have dirty water on me, so I should be able to splash that out. Okay, hey, you can see the difference in the soils. I had not noticed that. I guess I have noticed that it changes when it rains. So we're making it rain covered. Okay, so there's a reason now to actually collect water. Uh huh. And I can hit at least two at a time. Okay. So I don't know how quickly it then continues to the next cycle. Hmm. We'll wait and see. Okay, so we are in the next day. That was what I was kind of stalling for because I want to go and invade that last corrupted island with the new coated weapon. Coated and trinketed, right? Let me see that again. I'm right there. We've got a sky spirit trinket, which is plus one airborne attack, and a mictor fungicide. Deals slightly more damage to corrupted monsters and gathers intake samples from them. So let's go see what that means. I need to... I need a good meal. What have I got on me right now? I've got nothing. All right. Into the house and grab a meal. Pumpkin pie. Mmm. Good stuff. But I do have also a berry pie and that was just as... almost as good. Okay. Over here. Up to the flight deck, which... Well, we could go that way, or we could go this way, and hop, skip, and jump over the top. Still got to rebuild this whole place up here. But let's... Let's what? Am I buried into that side there? Kind of am. So if I pivot, I'm going to crush right into there and possibly destroy all that. If I pivot out the other way... Like that. And then lift I think that's the answer wish I well, I could barely see my deck down there right over my left elbow yeah so we'll do that we're heading I want to say that way okay good there pivot around still raising till we clear this guy Okay, that's probably enough raising. Take you back down. And it seems to me, although the sky is really hazy right now. Let's see here. So we're at what island? Where am I at? So he's back there. How does that compare to the map? So we're at that island. We need to be heading with all of these guys to our right. So where are these guys? They're over there. That's the island we're going to, but you can't see it when you're looking directly at it. Only when it's in your the edge of your vision. Okay. Wonder what causes that. It might be a, a Unity thing. I think Unity is this the program this is what this is programmed in. Yeah, I think it's that object right there. It's just not spawning in properly. Full sails. Head over there. And no, I I was going to do some more practice on my, my combo battle moves, but <laughs> haven't had the time. <laughs> so I think I'm heading toward it right now. Go a little bit further over. Hope that's it. Let's just let you run. Getting kind of 13 frames per second right now. Yep. Might have too many lanterns in that house. I think we're going the right way, but I think the island icon is backward. It's got the sails of the back end. Unless there actually is a front of the island, and I don't know it. We got this guy in the wrong end. Is that the front? Maybe I'm backing in right now. Could be. I never really thought of that. All right. You're there, and I think we're going to need to drop some, so let's just get that going. Yeah, I guess that would explain why the island is always backwards on the map. I guess the map knows where the front of the island is. Huh. wonder how you would know that when you first landed on an island. Huh. 
Anyway, this is a pretty good sized one. We've got a lot of fighting to do. I'm at full sails, which means I really could use a lot more sails, and I still don't know what the red means. I That must be bad. But does that mean that I need more sails to relieve the stress on those, or does it mean that I need them placed in a different position? That I don't know. All right, so I was going to say we have two islands there. We have two big chunks of the same island, kind of, yeah. So start at the top and work our way down, or start below and I don't know. It almost looks like a similar island to what we had over in the other sector. Oh, speaking of the other sector, my other save that I was playing before I uh, started this series, I went back to it and goofed around there and went back through some of those islands and found at the bottom underneath one of them, a big one like this, there's a, a cavern way down in there with an additional learning stone. So all of you who are just playing this now for the first time, really search that first sector well. There are at least two islands with a, a, a tunnel or a cave down underneath. So we missed it on this series, but there's there's another one down there. All right, so berry pie, eat, there it is, and a water, got you, and let's just grab a pumpkin for good measure and one more water, good. All right, so this one, though, I wonder if I want to. Oh, we're we're oscillating. We've got a rainbow sword now I'm kind of liking that that door kip <laughs> wondering if we want to uh, oh if I want to start learning that one All right now it doesn't have the combo move that the other tools do but anyway hey I can gather that one here oh what where'd you come from dude oh yeah that was my very wimpy combo mood move okay so we've got a a boom boom here what I call them so if I were to what I dare go over there and cut it down and would it just blow up in my face I don't know we'll save them we will experiment with him later a whole bunch more boom booms yeah I feel the boom booms that's what I call them I'm sure that's not their official name okay anybody in here it's going to join the other three that are about to pop out at me. All right, so if I'm empty, nobody around, let's do a real quick topping off here of... So leap is hold, charge, aim at until it goes blue, then release to leap forward. Okay, we'll try that one. Combo. There. Hold and leap. Okay, but oh yeah, but I just leap right into them. Oh, boom, boom. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Okay, that helped. I gotta know where I'm backing up into. And who's after me now? There's still at least one more. No. Okay, these have all blown. Maybe they took out the third one. All right, you're done. Intact Mictor Sample. Ooh, right there. Barely scratched these samples. This sample can still be researched to reveal more information. That's what we're here for. Got to cure the little lamb. Mm-hmm. All right. So this island is fully infested, unlike the last one we went to, which was just damaged on the top, but not fully grown over with these mushrooms. Alright, what are you? You're the purple ones. Okay. Just kind of looking around. That's a exploding one. These have been exploded. Did we just come from here? I think we did. Okay, we'll go this way. What's over here? Let's fly around and get another sense of what's going on. Um, why don't I see any more of the 
of the nodes. No, I still don't see any down here either. I don't see the, the tall structure. Okay. Stay, there's one. Drop into there. I hear ya. Okay, that was a powerful... Oh, you're not dead yet? You are dead. Okay. I hear noises. Must be the environment making noises. Okay, I'm sure one of these guys is going to pop up, right? No? Huh. Over here? You? No? Huh. Okay. I'll take you. And... Boom, boom, boom. Oh, just hit a whole bunch of buttons and see what happens. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I like it that I can swipe through a whole area and hit them all at the same time. But bam, they can hit me too. Oh, boom, boom. Yeah. Need a bandage. Need a bandage. Good? Stay? All right, get a bandage. Where is that? Right there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use this guy. All right, it's gonna slowly build. And where did the rest of that node go? There you are. So I didn't see any others. I doubt this is it. That's it? Okay. Interesting. Now, if you go to the... Um, did I get more of that? 24 of it now. If you go to the Discord for this game, there's a link to a Twitch stream. I watched that today. Learn. That talks about this update. Leaf rugs. Ooh, a rug that doesn't wave in the wind. <laughs> and plans for the game in the future and what is a placeholder and what is not. It's a really interesting conversation. It's about, about two hours long. I saw most of it. Like the Learning Stones are kind of placeholders. Eventually, they'd like to see maybe putting ruins on these islands. And as you go to the ruins and see how to build a floor, a wall, a window, a door frame, a roof, and learn as you discover things in that sense. So there, there are plans to kind of rework some of these systems in the future as they get closer to uh, um, a, a more permanent release. I'm right now trying to see if there's any new plants or anything else while we're wandering around while I'm talking. Um... Nico, the game designer, popped into the comments a couple episodes back and basically said hi. He was letting me know about the uh, uh, being careful about harvesting the flax too soon because there's a bug right now that's got the the scythe symbol showing up too early. And uh, so he's he said he's he's watching the uh, the the. The series, which is quite a compliment. So, if you guys, oh, like this, you know, like discovering something like this on an island, and we don't know how to make this particular door frame yet, you'd be able to learn that if you chose to. I want to learn this chest. That's what I want. Abandoned chest, what have you got? Oh, there's something else that I saw too. I have no idea yet how to find them, but. Apparently there are two different kinds of chests in the world right now. There is the chest that you find like that, and there's a chest that's buried in the ground. A stone chest. I don't know how you go about discovering that. I don't know if there's a, a patch of little fireflies, you know, little twinkles, just somewhere for no reason whatsoever, and that means there's something underneath. Or if there's a bulge in the ground, or if something pops up while you're holding this guy, or what. So I wouldn't even know where to go, but he showed one example of that. It was on one of the islands there in the, uh, 
in the starter area where, we, where the game starts. And you went up high to a certain spot and there it was. So if there was a spot similar to this on this island, hmm, there is no prominent peak here. So if there was one here, I wouldn't know where to say, yeah, that's probably it. Hmm. But if we could go back to that other sector, I could show that to you. But so be aware there is more to the game than what you see on the surface. And it is dark. Let's see, do I have... I have a torch. Let's grab that. Um, anyway, but he does pop into these episodes and, and watch. So if you've got comments for the dev team, features you would love to see implemented, that kind of thing, put them in the comments. Might uh, give them an idea that hasn't come up yet. Give them uh, something to work on, something to add to the roadmap, something to, uh, to, to try out. Also, I mentioned in that video that the game does have a map builder. Uh, now, if you go to the main menu, you can build your own island. And if you get one that you're really impressed with, send it to them. They'll look at it. They may just add it to the game. They're looking for... Uh, I'm looking for wings. They're looking for, you know, more and more models to add to it. And, you know, if you make a good one, they don't have to do the work. It's already done for them. You know, there's, there's an advantage to putting that in. Anyway, is there anything underneath this? So that island I was talking about back in the first sector is... It would be like way down in... In here kind of a place that, that there would be a cave opening down there so that's what you're looking for but I'm going to wait until it is daytime again there's no point in going back over there right now and just wandering around in the dark so let's head in I'm hitting something and land it right in he bounced me forward I was heading for here Okay, let's head up here and grab some sleep. And there's talk of of being able to eventually package built objects like this house into a blueprint so that you could package it all up as a set of instructions, go to a different island and lay that whole house or whatever the object is back into a place on that island that um, instead of having to rebuild it piece by piece so a lot of, a lot of plans a lot of long-term plans years worth of long-term plans for the game so it's going to be here for a while no difference and it's not the same wet texture anymore we could water is here I've got clean water right now. Let's go collect some dirty water. I'm curious to see if the game will let you choose what you want to splash out of that bucket. Where am I at? Right here. Let's grab 50 of these. Well, it used to stack to 50. I don't know what it stacks to now. We'll go to 55. It's not here. There you are. Oh, I had 45 already. Okay, we have lots of dirty water now. But this stuff is, is done. You don't need to uh, to water it anymore. I don't think there's any kind of a system of rot in the game yet. So I don't have to worry about those crops going bad. Like in Stranded Alien Dawn. That surprised me when we're playing that one and... Uh, all that great corn that was out there and ready to harvest that I hadn't gotten to yet just started rotting on me. Like, what? Okay, you guys. So, we'll water these. At least I think I'm doing something. It makes sense. Whether or not this is actually implemented in the game yet, I don't know. But it seems like that's the logical thing to do. Somebody in the comments, that's right, mentioned be sure to grab an island with water because the crops are going to need it. Animals don't really need it. It just makes you feel good when you you know that they're next to a place to get a drink, but you don't actually see them drinking. They just see these guys walking around and bobbing their head up and down. I do have an idea, though, I think it would be kind of fun to implement. is the idea of rodents. 
the idea of mice. I grew up with a lot of animals around, at least my, my high school years, and we had a chicken coop. And I remember one time a mouse got loose in the chicken coop, probably going after grain or something, you know, chicken feed. One chicken got a hold of that mouse and started squawking like crazy and running around the coop with five of the chickens chasing him, trying to get that mouse out of his beak. Boy, for 10 minutes, it was just a mess of feathers and, and trying to get, you know, each one of them wanted to eat that mouse. I think we should have potential of a mouse problem around the granary and a house pheasant to keep guard. You know, we don't have cats right now, but pheasants would do just as good. They really would. Anyway, we need to see what that new substance does. Let's try here. I uh, don't know that that's going to do anything here. No. Here. Now we got some thing. We need 30. We needed that other island. We really did. So, all right. It's daytime. Let's go back over there. See if there's anything that's important. And if not, like... Is that the same place as before? It is. Okay, I won't fall down there. Okay, so fly. I see why I can never get these wings to work. I click too fast. If I double click, well, that time it worked. But if I click and click, then the wings do their thing. If I click twice real quick, unless I'm trying to make a point, and then it works perfectly every time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of material here I could get, but we are doing pretty good on stone and wood and hay. So I'm not seeing anything, but if I go a little slower I wonder if there's a chance that I could find any indication whatsoever that something might be buried under the ground I don't know I don't know what the secret is to realizing there is a stone chest under you I don't know what if there's any kind of see right there double click real quick and I I just do that but if I click click then the wings come out Okay, so this is the island over here, too. Drop and wings. Drop. Wings. Drop. <laughs> Let's go down in stages. Okay, so these guys are nothing. Those are nothing. Wow, this lower level is huge. And there's fire. There's fire. I didn't notice that last time, did you? I didn't notice torches. This is the same place, right? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't see those at all. It was dark. And it wasn't rainy, so I can't use that excuse. I didn't notice the torches. Interesting. Um, it sure seems like an important area, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, six. I mean, we could just do this all over the island and never find it if it even is here so if any of you have a clue on if there is some kind of a visual cue that there is a hidden chest anywhere let me know what it is because I'd love to show you guys what's in some of those chests but yeah I could spend hours after each video going over all the islands we've been to trying to discover it in there and that's that's not going to happen. Um, how about let's just kind of peek around in here. Like that. Nope. Okay. Stop. 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 Okay. Nothing here. Nothing prominent. Nope. So there's no visual cues that I'm seeing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say there's nothing in this particular island. 
I could be wrong. There could be a pyramid buried underneath this mound right here for all I know. Okay, so let's get moving on to some other islands and see if we can't figure out more of the uh, of this mystery. That's not what I wanted. I want that. For some reason, whenever I think of boosting, I almost always hit my space button. If I wasn't already half programmed to do this, I might even go in and change the key bindings, but uh, that's dangerous when you do that. Um, I want to fly. Let's go over here. Let's look at the map. There are other islands in this area. And I thought about going kind of diagonal that way. So we need to turn around. So the, the sails are on our back end, according to that map. All right, we're good here. Turn hard. And forward hard. And we'll keep the same elevation. That should be fine. So that's those islands over there. The other corrupted island is that one right there that's now not. So if that's the case, it's between just off the edge of that corrupted island. It should be about the right angle. Okay. And more sails might not be a bad idea. So I take it it's those flashes right up in there that we're heading to. Yeah. Straighten ourselves out. Just go forward for a while. And are there more? Boy, we're so laggy. 13 frames per second now. So I'm heading for in between here. We have three and two. Of course, we could have more out over here and more over here, and they could be flashing at us as well. So it's really laggy up here. I noticed that last episode, too. So one, two, three. That one must be in the further sector. That one, too. Because I think it's this group here. One, two, three, four. And over here, one, two. I think that's what we're seeing there. One, two, three, and maybe there's one on the edge. And then one, two. So there must be more of them right in there, and we're seeing that. And then there's more of them in here. So we're going to kind of head in between, and then as we get closer, we'll make the decision of exactly where to go. So in that case, we are heading more like right over here. Okay, let's raise up just in case our our uh, bottom side scrapes down there. Yeah, that's that's kind of right up the center. Okay, uh, control, we're good there. Just let you go, and notice how the sails aren't yellow, even though we're going full speed ahead. There, click it down a little bit, and it comes back in. It's odd that that does that. That's got to be a bug. So, now that I know it's there, I, I'm not, it doesn't catch me off guard anymore, but before I realized that, when it was dark and didn't show yellow, I, I thought that uh, the sails had been brought down and I just walked away. Yeah, imagine jumping off onto another island to go and explore it and then look back up and your island's gone. It's, it's way out over there. I assume we can glide faster than the island can fly. Which means it wouldn't. Uh, we'd be able to catch it eventually. <laughs> um, let's go. Just boy, that is laggy. Oh, that's bad. Eleven. I'm gonna go eliminate a bunch of these lanterns and see if that makes a difference. Let's grab anything and let's start getting rid of items on the map. The more I build to make this place amazing, the more the game has to try to keep track of and render. I don't know how it does that. Is it able to toss out of the memory what isn't in view anymore? And so that what I'm doing now isn't actually a factor? Or is it keeping track of all of these guys as well as what we can see? So if I get rid of a bunch of these and then let the game just settle down for a little bit, I'm curious to see if that makes any difference. OK, 
Okay. Let's go outside. And get rid of that. And see what we're going to crash into. Over here. Uh, we are headed that way. So there's still quite a ways away. Uh, 18 frames per second over here. Let's fly for a while. Out here, 60 frames per second. So it's the island that's doing it. And eliminating just a few things may not be enough. 20, 10, 15 frames per second when you're in here. I have a lot of pieces in this house. So the game has to keep track of all those pieces. So if I go further away, or is the island itself one big block? And it's all part of the whole. That could be. Because it's 16 no matter where I go now. So it may be that we eventually need to shut down this series just to give them time to do some more optimizing. I don't know. Maybe I am over taxing what the current game code is able to handle. Don't know those answers. Maybe I just need to shut down halfway through and restart and clear the cache in a sense. So we are... I see a big object right in front of the center of the wheel that isn't flashing. I think it's a rock coming at us. Okay. So where are we compared to the map? A ways to go. We're heading for the three. Oh, I thought I was going in between. So maybe there's some right over here that's actually uh, that I think is the three. And coming! <laughs> so we're heading right at the three. Huh. Whoops. That didn't turn. Try that again. So maybe I need to be heading a little bit more like so. Let's see what the angle looks like now. Well, we're going to skirt those three no matter what. Okay. We should get close enough to be able to see them. Maybe a while. Let's take this down to half. Um, let's go check out the flax one more time, which is this way? Yeah. And then I'll go and head to bed real quick, bring the sun back. Got a storm coming through, which is natural watering. So it may trigger the flax to to complete whether I sprayed them with buckets of water or not. Yeah, they're ready now. Now we have flax. Okay. So we'll come back to that here in a moment. Let's bring the sun back. Now I've noticed when it's super laggy on my screen, right now it's just vibrating, it's so laggy, that it doesn't show up as bad in the video like the video has a way of smoothing it out making it feel a little more of a flow wow that's a storm yeah um, I'm assuming it's daytime got no hint of the sun though um, I think I'd better check the position of the ship of the island we still have a ways to go since I did slow down. And I'll go to bed one more time and see if we can outweigh the storm. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it. But we're not going to be able to see them. Let's take you down like so. And then I'm going to go sleep one more time. Okay, that feels quieter out there. Nope, I got up. Never mind. Yeah, it's still storming like crazy. So maybe it's not a waiting thing. Maybe the storm will last a certain amount of time, no matter how much time you make go by by sleeping. I don't know. But no matter how hard it is to see, I need to know where the ship is. So over here, we are kind of, we're getting close. Is there any hint? There. Three islands up above. Now well, let's at least rise up and swing in. 
So I've got the music turned down quite a bit because certain parts of the music would suddenly get very loud. At least it would feel that way. But apparently there is a whole um, procedural music system. As you sail for a certain amount of time, a sailing song comes on. As you go into battle, a battle song comes on. As the sun rises, the song ri the sunrise sun song comes on, and you know, different different things like that. So there's kind of a scoring system that builds up in the background. That as you spend a certain number of ticks <clears throat> doing a certain activity, it builds toward the beginning of that particular song or music that comes in to uh, uh, to trigger an automatic you know sense of, of what you're doing but some of the songs came on so loud that I had, I wish there was a way to you know, dial it from here but I guess while we're waiting options audio where is my music now 20 let's take you back to about 35 We'll see what what comes in. Okay, full sales, <clears throat> full rise. Let's see if we can't get in close to whatever these are. If I look at them from an edge, that yeah, brings them in a little bit. Kind of. I've noticed some games do that. As you get to the edge of the screen, the object gets bigger. So I don't know if that is a particular... Am I rising? I am. It's just taking a long time. Yeah, my risers... The orange is just barely enough. Oh! Okay, there's something I've never noticed before. Let's slow down the sails. But the green over there? It's dark green underneath. And it is light green above. So full sails. So that must have something to do with the fact that everything is red back there. I ah, have to figure out more of how, how that system works. Okay, we have a corrupted island here. And where's island three? There's two. Did we pass one? Oh, behind it over there. Okay, so we're still rising. We have one bad island there. That looks like a bad one there too. But it's not as big. Okay. I can't tell what's behind this one, but I think that's the one to go for. All right, 15 knots. So if you know more about how the sails work, let me know. Do we need to spread them out? Do we need to replace them? Do they wear out after a while? Is that, uh, is that what that's indicating? So 2 and 13 and 3. Should they be at 100? Don't know. F is off, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this guy looks more of a size that I can handle. There's the moon in the background. Rain has stopped. Okay, we're getting up higher. The clouds are starting to thin. Let's stop our forward motion. All right, coming in here. We are not doing this during the night. It's dark out here. It's pitch black in there. All right, so slowing down. What is that? Control. There it is. And you're off. Everything's off. Actually, I went. I went a bit too uh, too high. How close am I? Did I go over the top of it? Let's slow that down. What do we got here? Twenty thirty frames per second. Rain probably did a lot to it. And I would imagine the, uh, the the clouds do a lot to the frames, too. Yeah, we're at 40 now. 45. So did my computer just stop doing something in the background? Or did the game clean itself up? Or was the weather a major factor there? I don't know. But it's working pretty good right now. Alright, so daytime... We want to make another pumpkin pie because they're so good. So go to the recipe book, grab that, and go. And I never did find out what happened. So let's make this one. I'll try to remember to set something in and leave it. See if it's waiting for us when we get back. If it cooks very, very slowly. Or if you don't pull it out, it eventually burns. Don't know the answer to that. Let's get a pumpkin pie. 
And we still have plenty of clean water on us. Though we could top that off at 50. Okay, grab you. Thank you. And is that done on here or can we do it ourselves? I think it's done on here. So drink water here. There. Clean water. What did I say I had about 25? It's one per. Okay. So we'll do something like that. Pull out. Clean. 46. Okay. You and you and you. And we should be good to go. Alright. We're going out this way. Boy, that didn't work at all. Let's try that again. Actually, that looks like a bad guy right there on the side. I think he was supposed to be spawned underground and it didn't quite work. Yeah, he thinks he can't be seen. <laughs> Alright, you and two of you. Okay, that seems to be a good combo. Yeah, let's slow down, pull back in, get right next to him, see if he pops up. Hello. Ah, pops up and flies off and dies. Okay, though that might have been part of the samples that we wanted, I don't know. Drop into you. And grab you. Good. So we have an exploding... Whoa! Charge! And hit. Alright, we got more intact samples. Nobody else coming at me. So we got 27 now. I need three more. Okay, got him there. Though I would imagine we've got more bad guys ready to spawn. I don't see them. At least not the red caps. <clears throat> there is. Yeah, I think we're kind of clear up here. Okay. Let's let's clear some room to fight. And we'll save you. Can these be taken down? They cannot. Okay. Can't chop a tree to get out of our way, can you? No. And I've kind of forgotten about this guy. Huh. Let's play with that. Okay, two. Oh! <laughs> and fall right off the edge of the world. Okay, you guys are down in here. Let's drop here. Where are you? Up there? I'm on level too low, aren't I? Yeah, can I release this? Okay. There you are. Two. Missed. Go, go. Okay, let's stick with swords. Whoa. Okay, drop into here. This space is getting too small. All right. It's you. Got any bells coming up? I see someone jumping around. Right there. Charge, aim, fire. Woohoo! Do it again. All right, who's left up here? No. Anybody down there? Who else wants to dance? Nobody. Okay, take you out. And that's it. Alright. That gave us 30. 28. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to know? Just bones. Got two more down here. A pheasant. And bones. So, and there's my arrow. Yep. And got more of these guys. Sugar cane. Okay. Little trees. That's a different model than we're used to. Yeah, gather is usually... So that's more like a cypress, and that's more like a pine. 
Interesting. Okay, so what else is on this island? I haven't seen a learning stone yet. We've been there. The pheasant's down there. We've been here. Okay. Actually, down. Over. Let's go around him. Nope, no entrance from below either. Okay, this one actually doesn't have a learning stone on him. Okay. So, we've got one pheasant down there. I won't take the time to to put him in triage just yet. But how long have I been going? Almost an hour. I want to know what's going to happen. I've still charged up really well. Let's throw on a pumpkin. And the other island is where? And what time is it? I think it's right over the top. Let's go to this island over here. Alright, well come on in and at least enough to get to 30. Coming in hot. Slowing down. And let's drop a little early. In fact, I'm dropping right on top of one, aren't I? Thought he would jump up and grab me. Okay. I'm seeing only... Oh, there you are. Hello. Okay. It can be done. Not as dramatic, though. Hello. No? Okay. Which one of you are real? There's a bad guy. Let's charge ahead of time. Okay, charge you. And space bar and do all kinds of just crazy things. Alright, it worked. <laughs> Alright, you guys all leaving me alone now? I think so. Oh, he's already on me. Woohoo! Alright. Hit back. Oh, I'm cornered. Run, jump, do things, go. <laughs> Let's go over here and drop. Yeah, panic, spam the button. That's how I roll. Okay, take you out. And I've got... 28 still? What am I missing here? It runs out? It runs out. The potion is gone. Oh... Okay, we have one more corrupted island. I guess we're going to, uh, next time, figure out what happens when you've got 30 of these guys successfully. We need to run this guy through the upgrade station again, put another coating on him. It, apparently there's a time limit. Okay, well with that, let's call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll figure it out next time. Bye-bye now.